In this video, we are going to look at higher order functions. A higher order function is a function that takes a function as an argument. So here, for example, we can see that this app function takes an argument f. And that has to be a function because it is applied to x in its definition. We see this in the type signature with the parentheses. The first argument is a function that takes an a and gives back a b. Let's look at an example with this add1 function where we have a function that adds 1 to a certain number. And here we can see how app applies this add1 function to 1 uh, in order to get the result 2. An important uh, part of, of higher order functions are anonymous functions because we do not want to define uh, functions with a name all the time when using them in this higher order function context, which is why anonymous function uh, makes a lot of sense. So an anonymous function is a function that does not have a name when uh, defining the function. It consists of a backslash and a list of arguments and then an expression. This is very similar to how lambda calculus uh, looks and works. So here's a very simple uh, example. This would be a function that takes one argument, uh, which is called x, and, well, increments it. So what we could do is we can save the definition of this anonymous function in, uh, well, this variable we call add1. It is very important to see that functions are just values in Haskell. That is why they can be given as an argument. Of course, if you have multiple uh, arguments, you do not uh, have to uh, write any commas. Commas would be a mistake here. Uh, just write the argument list like you would in a normal function. Okay, and here we can see uh, the application of anonymous functions. This would also work uh, within your code. Uh, so here, for example, in the first example, we uh, apply this uh, unary function that just increments a number to one. And in the second uh, example, we have multiple arguments. Okay, so here we see the example where we do not define this add1 function explicitly, but we just use an anonymous function uh, in order to get the same result. Okay, so let's look at two very important functions that are higher order functions and that are used uh, often in day-to-day -day Haskell programming. The first is map, which maps one list of this type A to another list of this type B. And it uses the first argument, which is a function, it uses that in order to convert uh, one list into the other. It's important to see here that the type of the list can very well change. The first list has the type A and the second list has the type B. Okay, so here's a very easy example with an anonymous function uh, that simply increments every single number within a list. And here's another function uh, in one of the um, earlier videos. We looked at a list comprehension that took a list of tuples and converted them to a list of the sum of the tuples. This map function does the same thing. We can also see that um, doing this pattern matching on tuples works within an anonymous function. So that's what map could be used for. Another very important function is the filter function. This one takes um, a function as its first argument, which always gives you a bool. And this is what we call a predicate. This function is a predicate because it tells us whether for a certain element within that list, a certain property holds, whatever that might be. Of course, the type of the list is not changed. We uh, get a list of type A and we return a list of type A. So here, for example, we can filter all the numbers 
um, that are smaller than two. Now, the important thing is the predicate, when it returns true, then the element will be in the new list. So uh, don't think of this as if it's true, then it's filtered out. It's the, uh, it's the other way around. And here, for example, we do some filtering where we do not want to have tuples that have the same values. So, for example, this could have been used in the exercise where we had the directed graph. We could have used this in order to eliminate loops, uh, but we didn't have to. But we could have done it like that. <laughs> 